use this play out of the Cardinals playbook for one play touchdowns and shred your opponent if he runs a lot of cover three. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post them against, uh, on my channel. I show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. So guys, we're going to be talking about um, a play that I showed in a previous breakdown of how you can go ahead and use a particular play to shred cover two. Now we're going to run it, talk about how to shred cover three. This is one of those plays that you can run pretty much all game if you get your your, your reads down. So uh, it is going to be the, the deep fork out of the gun flips trip in this play. I believe is only in the Arizona uh, Arizona Cardinals playbook. But what's cool about it is that it allows you to go ahead and attack your opponent and keep them guessing with this particular play. Now what's cool about this particular play, in particular against cover three, is that it's going to open things up underneath and help you set, set up for a big play opportunity um, up top. So um, one of the things about uh, when you get that cover three high shell, so you've got those three uh, safeties or three defensive backs up. Um, the first area of the field you want to look to is going to be the running back route on the back end side. And the, and the reason why is that this route will not get covered a, a lot of times against cover three shells because um, the defender actually has to play that deep circle route on the back end side. See how he falls back? And you can just chuck that down for an easy completion um, off, the, off to the left hand side side. Now this is cool because this allows you to go ahead and attack your opponent in areas of field that he's, he's not used to defending or thinking he's going to have to do some type of hybrid coverage. So this makes this makes your play extremely annoying to stop um, if he if he has to go and defend that. So that's another that's one of the, the aspects of this particular play that you want to go and use. Now I've also got the combination of the corner route, I've got a deep post route, and I've got an out route on the back end side. The out route should get fairly good separation. You've also got this corner route that you can go ahead and jump into uh, on the back end side. So it's a little block shed and that's going to happen uh, when you got a really piss poor offensive line like this. But you can see the out route is going to be open, is going to be available for you. Now, uh, another adjustment I like to do is I like to go ahead and take that uh, that motion route and put him on a little smoke route. And the reason why is that it gives me a, a quick release check down that I can attack my opponent with. And it also will give you a read on whether that corner route is going to open up against, against my opponent. Because I know that deep third is generally going to fall back and a flat defender is either going to come out and play it and if flat defender comes out and plays it, this corner route will be wide open. So that's a fast read that you can go ahead and check against your opponent. So now, if he's running cover three against you, you have uh, the underneath route that you can check down to. It's going to be a little harassment route. And I guarantee you, even though he, you might only get five yards against him or four yards against him, this is a play that you can jump. This is a route that you can go ahead and, and go ahead and attack your opponent with confidence. And if, if the guy comes down and plays it, this corner route will be wide open for you. And uh, with the combination of, of the, the little halfback circle route on the back end side, he can't be in all those positions at once. Now, what makes this play really fun is that if you have an opponent that runs, uh, uh, wants to keep running cover three against you, you have a one play opportunity with the with the wide receiver Nelson. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up like I did with the cover two. So it's, that's kind of cool is that this allows you to go ahead and ru run the same type of a play. But we need to keep that C route on the left hand side, Kirk, in, in the C route because what that does is it pulls that deep blue defender down to go ahead and play that. Now, if I get the time and a blocking, if I get a good throw, Nelson will be open for a big one-play touchdown. So we've got the time, and let's go ahead and see if we get the throw. We didn't get the throw, but you can see how wide open he was with that coverage. So we're going to go ahead and block our running back. We're going to streak up Fitzgerald. We can keep the auto motion in place if you want to, just to keep our opponent guessing. And here's your opportunity to go ahead and get that one play touchdown against your opponent and get yourself a nice big touchdown opportunity. So guys, if you like these type of tips, let me know. I can You can run this play a multiple, multiple different ways against your opponent because it's the way it's set up. It just It's very hard uh, for your opponent to go ahead and stop it. You're gonna have to, he's going to have to run a hybrid coverages. He's going to have to run a cover two, run a cover three. And you can pretty much use this play all the way down the field. This is a good play to go and use in, like, in a two-minute type situation uh, because it does attack cover two, cover three, and it's obviously going to destroy cover four too. So to my subscribers, thank for your support. If you do like these tips, make sure you smash that like button. And until next time, guys.